Yo, what's going on there, people? Into webs is definitely that guy, and I don't have a shirt on. I'm not putting one on for this video, so you can go relax yourself. I got a new dread review here coming to you guys today uh, by the name of Max Cavalera. He's been highly requested Caucasian dreads of the metal band kind. So make sure you stay tuned to subscribe. Uh, this is the place for the not allowed content. <laughs> And now that I'm back in the place, not like Lex Lanson, I'm here just flexing and ranting. I'm looking at some metal dreads that have been requested. And um, good thing I got around to this video because if you want to see some lumpy, clumpy, nasty looking grungy dreads, then this is the video you want to see. <laughs> Get ready to this video. Max Cavalera of the band Soulfly, also known from Sepultura. Let's get right into this video. Massa Miliano Antonio Cavalera, also known as Max Cavalera, is a Brazilian singer, guitarist, and songwriter who currently plays in the heavy metal band Soulfly. Cavalera Conspiracy and Killer Be Killed. Also, Sepultura, if you've heard of that old metal band. This video has been requested on behalf of the metal heads out there, and Max Cavalera is definitely one of those. Um, his locks off the bat, grungy, thick, natty, kind of gross looking in all opinions, but they are definitely some Caucasian dreads. It shows that Caucasians can dread their hair more of the neglect method, although I don't know why it comes out so greasy looking as Max Cavalera has his locks. No, don't get me wrong. I mean, locks do look good on anybody. His specifically are just a little grudgier than I would imagine. Um, these photos are more so from his early days. Um, as of lately, he hasn't been rocking the dreads as much. But you can see the length that has been happening here. But there is an awkward parting right at the front of his forehead, if you can tell. Uh, that the dude definitely had a lot of coloring happening in his time. I've seen pictures from blonde to pink to red to green. So he was a fan of coloring his locks and to be honest these locks do look like they would have been back home to start and then went into the freeform method. As he got older his locks clumped together quite hardcore. Check out that one lock on his left. It's just massive and so thick and you can tell that this is definitely a neglected dreadlock for it to form like so and another really interesting photo here is that you can really see like his five dreads that he has in his later days that are just massive and I mean if you want your hair to clump up massively like this just let them form you can actually start to see the finger lock starting to happen on that dread near his eye where the, the locks have combined into a finger like form um, but I want to know what you guys think about the clumpiness of these locks. They kind of look like homeless man's locks, in all honesty. But I mean, locks are locks in the end of the day. So when you're when you're when he was younger, he was rocking these locks. Uh, you can tell that the forehead at this point wasn't as awkwardly parted because the weight of his locks weren't falling down to the sides and in front of his face. Uh, also, his locks here are a lot thinner at the at this time, so he could have actually had them combined together to form these big clump of locks that he's rocking uh, in his later days. It's almost like uh, the dude is balding a bit and he's still rocking the back section of the locks. More of a skullet type of look. But I always admire people that can rock locks right until the end of their days, regardless of their hairline formation. And with uh, Max here, you can see that his locks are super thick on the back of his head. Uh, and this simply could be due from sleeping on them uh, and not having them separated. And here's one for the crowd. An old fashioned side taper that probably looks pretty awful compared to some side tapers I've seen. 
Not a huge fan of the side taper. I don't know why people really do it so much. Mainly because their hair is not dreading in that part. Man, just let it be, to be honest. And of course, this is Max Cavalera's hair before it was in locks. Just a lot of length. Uh, even before his beard was in locks, too. But do note that he would have lost a lot of this length when he started to form his dreads because it will shorten them. Uh, another photo uh, with his bandana on and a big clump of lump at the back. <laughs> um, the top of his head doesn't really look locked anymore. It just looks like sparse, loosely strands of hair. Uh, and his beard, you can see that there is quite some dread starting to form down there as well. So now you've seen the before and the after of Max Calvera's dreads. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys really think of these locks. Um, and also, if you know any other metal bands that have locks, be sure to share it in the description in the comments. Because uh, when you got hair as pink as this dude, he's trying to pull the um, the famous Dex look at this point, the pink locks. But you can definitely see that regardless of your skin tone or ethnicity you can have locks and dye them whatever color you really want so i think all in all with these locks and uh, oh yeah this is my microphone it's kind of ghetto but it works <laughs> i think um all in all with these locks um max cavalera I i'm i'm just cool to see that he's had locks over the past 20 years uh, most people can't even make it to one year with their locks, so uh, kudos to him and also giving us the inspiration to pull locks off regardless of our ethnicity or our status or whatever it may be because locks can look good even if they don't look good to everybody else or like in this review, he probably looks and feels good in them in his own skin, so you can't go wrong with that. But I'm going to sign off with from here. Make sure you guys have your dreadlock confidence in check. Because that's what it's about. That lot, that lot confidence. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Go check out my vlog channel. Daily vlogs happening. I have some t-shirts of Not Nation made. No one's bought any yet. I'm going to get a new storefront up on Etsy. Just put up a few more pictures. But check out the Etsy shop if you want to order a, short, a shirt. A shirt. They're $25. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Got some crud on my lip. Blah. Anyways, I'll see you later. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Dead